Hey friends, welcome to the channel. If you don't know me yet, my name is Anar and I'm a self-taught software developer. And on this channel, I help you break into and grow in the tech industry. Today, I will go through five career paths you can have as a software engineer. All of these career paths lead to jobs that are higher paying than regular software engineering roles. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my future content. Let's start with the two most common career paths that software engineers take, which is the technical path and the management path. As a software engineer, when you start your career off, you start off as a junior. This is a fun time when you get to spend most of your time writing code and you generally don't carry too much responsibility. Once you advance to a senior software engineering role, you're expected to take on more responsibility, do more complex work independently, design systems, and review and approve the work of less experienced software engineers. Your job becomes less about coding and more about decision making, planning, and accountability. At this point, you can choose to continue down the technical track onto roles such as staff software engineer and principal software engineer, and these roles typically follow the same trend, less coding and more technical responsibility. This is a common career path for software engineers that want to continue to grow, but at the same time want to stay within a software engineering role. Alternatively, some software engineers find that they enjoy the interpersonal part of the job more than the technical part. These people typically move on to software engineering management positions. This position still requires an understanding of what software is and how software is built, but software engineering managers typically don't actually have to build anything. To be a good software engineering manager, you need to have good communication skills and good listening skills because you want to make sure that your team members feel like they can talk to you, but at the same time, you need to be able to make a decision that might not make everybody happy. Those are the two most common career paths that software engineers take. A slightly different but still common career path is going from software engineer to software architect. As a software engineer, once in a while you get to take part in architecting a brand new system. A new system typically needs to be architected when there's no system in place at all, like in a brand new company, or in an existing company when the existing system is just so hard to maintain that it's easier to just build a new system. Architecting a system is exciting because you get to make a lot of foundational decisions, such as what programming languages to use, what frameworks to use, and what technologies to leverage. Once these decisions are made and an architectural design is created and approved, it acts as a foundation for the rest of the lifespan of the system. Many software engineers find this foundational work to be exciting and focus their career on software architecture by becoming software architects. Another common career path software engineers take, especially back-end engineers, is DevOps. Going into DevOps is more of a transition out of software engineering altogether. What DevOps engineers do is they essentially build the environment and the infrastructure that software engineers can build and run their software on. DevOps, similarly to software architecture, is something software engineers get to do once in a while. And some of them find that they enjoy doing DevOps work more than building software and they decide to take their career in this direction. To be a good DevOps engineer, you need to have a solid understanding of how Kubernetes works. You also need to be knowledgeable with continuous integration, continuous deployment, Docker, and some other tools that go into building a resilient, scalable, and secure environment for software to run on. Last but not least, a lot of software engineers decide to transition away from hands-on technical work altogether and move into product management. Product managers are the people that craft business requirements for an application. Business requirements essentially define what an application does from a non-technical perspective. For example, the business requirements of an application like Instagram would be something like a mobile app that has the functionality to post and share images and videos, as well as leave likes and comments. In order to craft business requirements, product managers reach out to customers and ask them what they would like to see in a future product. They collect this data and then they prioritize the items that they believe would be the most useful and work with the designers and software engineers to get the application created. There you have it, five common career paths for software engineers. If you found this video to be useful or entertaining, leave a like and drop any questions you have in the comment section. That'll be it and I'll see you in the next one.